was safe. It changed Minecraft forever. No one was able to stop him. Not even me. Playing the field. Welcome to Minecraft the Movie, where we survive in Minecraft for as long as it takes to take down the dragon. We gotta eat Minecraft food, make Minecraft tools, and live the Minecraft way. Follow our journey as we meet new friends, build our arsenal, so we can take down the dragon. Uh, hey yo, what's going on everyone? It's Papa Jake and we are back with a brand new video. Lo Logan, where are you? What are you doing? I can't see. I'm in Minecraft, dude. We're not in Minecraft, we're at your parents' backyard. That's true, we, we are at the Boji Papa Jake house because today we are doing something extremely special. For the very first time ever, we are going into the world of Minecraft and we are gonna be surviving for, well, as long as you guys want. We are trying a new challenge where we are gonna live in Minecraft for as long as possible. So far we're scheduled for two days. It's two days, but we can keep going. We can keep expanding, we can keep building. The world is our oyster. Even under the water is our oyster because they water, because Minecraft is underwater now. If you guys want us to keep continuing the series, make sure to smack that like button and subscribe and hit the bell button. And if you guys want to shout out at the end of this video, make sure to comment SQUAD down below and we'll be picking a lucky viewer at the end to give a huge shout out. But guys, we are gonna be, like I said, living like Minecraft. We need to build our base, make our food, tame our horses. We have horses? We, we, we might get horses, Logan. I, right now, all I have is this pickaxe and that helmet. We don't have a lot of stuff, but that's the beauty of Minecraft. We can craft all of it. We can build it. So guys, if you want this series to continue, let's try and crush 50,000 likes and comment down below what we should build and what we should expand on. But Logan, we need to start building our base because it's gonna become nighttime soon and the creepers and the monsters are gonna come out and we need a place to survive. And I'm kinda getting hungry. All right, all right Jake, where, where do we start? Well, the first thing's first, Logan, we need to gather some resources so we can start working on our base. The base will be the first thing we need to build. Let's go find some wood. All right, Logan, looks like we got our first tree here. Now, I know what you're all saying, Papa Jake, you need to have an ax. I realize that, but all I have is this pickaxe, so we're gonna have to do with it. Let's get some wood. It's really hard to mine a tree with a pickaxe, okay? Timber! Looks like we got some wood, brother. Let's start working on the base. All right, guys, so check it out. We've been working on the box for it for some time now, and our Minecraft house is coming together pretty well. It's hard to see in this thing, but guys, check this out. So this is what we've been using our wood resources on. We are currently building our base so that it can be big enough for both me and Logan to survive in, but we also want to leave room for a bunch of additions. It's really hot in there. But guys, remember, we still want to add in a place for us to raise chickens. You know, maybe maybe we raise some moo cows. I also want to have a place for us to cook dinner and we might even start our very own farm. So we still have a lot of building to do. We don't have a crafting table yet though. So I was thinking, Logan, I'll continue working on the home base. Why don't you go out and gather some resources with the one pickaxe we have because we're gonna need to start crafting some new stuff. Logan, if I don't think my eyes are looking right, then I'm seeing what I think I'm seeing. Jake, what are you seeing? Our very first Minecraft dog. Yo. Oh, we can get a bone! We can get a dog! I don't have a bone. Well, I wanna get the dog, I wanna, I wanna have a Minecraft dog! Doggy, do you wanna join our Minecraft? Nope. She doesn't wanna join us, Logan, because we don't have a bone. We're gonna need to find a bone because I want my own dog. I'm gonna name him Mr. Fluffy McFlufferson. All right, guys, before we can build anything, we're gonna need to get a crafting table. So it's time to mine some wood, and we might as well get some rocks. We've got our wood. Let's go make a crafting table. Jake? Yo, Logan, check it out, bro. Hey, coming along pretty good. Guys, check it out inside. We still don't have a roof yet, uh, as you can see. There's no roof. We haven't got enough wood for it. But we have most of it ready. Jake, this go. place is massive. Yeah, I thought we'd start, you know, pretty big. I used up most of our resources, but obviously, guys, this is Minecraft. So if we ever do need to expand, we can always expand this. I was thinking, you know, maybe I'd have my own room so we don't, I don't have to see you at night. This is my room. Oh, it's yeah. actually the kitchen, Logan. I think, we're right. gonna put the, I think we're gonna put the kitchen here. Where's my bedroom, Jake? I don't know. We gotta, we gotta build it. That's the, that's the fun of Minecraft. We gotta make it. Did you get the resources for the crafting table? Yes, Jake. I have the wood. Well, the crafting table is the most important thing in all of Minecraft, so we need to put it somewhere nice. Logan, why don't we put it right in this corner here? That's where my bedroom was gonna be. Well, you know what? You're gonna have to move. Maybe we'll make an expansion onto this going backwards and add a room. You know, we can also always go outside and build anywhere we want. I mean, the world's our oyster. But here we go. Let's put the crafting table down. Boom! Our first crafting table and our first achievement in Minecraft. High five, bro. 
This is a survival challenge and we are gonna survive out here for as long as physically possible. Which means, Logan, we need to become Minecraft people. We need to eat, sleep, live Minecraft. We are only eating chicken and pork and steak. Actually, Minecraft has a lot of food. There's apples too and sugar cane and bread. Okay, we, uh, the, the, the food isn't the issue, but the issue is, Logan, the elements, okay? Not only is there rain, wind, sun, a lot of sun right now. There's also mobs of creatures. Like creepers? Like creepers, Logan. And creepers come out at night. So first things first, we need to get this base built, but we need some more wood. So I'm gonna use this crafting table to craft a stone ax. And boom, boom, boom! And there we go! We got our first stone ax, bro! Time to collect some more wood. Now, once it gets to nighttime, even though it's extremely hot right now, it might be cold. So we're also gonna wanna build a fire. Logan, we need to gather as many resources of wood. Jake, your ax isn't doing anything to that wood. I realize that, Logan. In Minecraft, it's a lot easier. You just don't, 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 and you get wood. This is, this, this is really, you're gonna have to, you're gonna leave me, you just give me like 40 minutes. I'll, I'll get us some sticks. Jake, fire. you know what, I'll, I'll do it. See? Okay, yeah, or you could just do that with your stone pickaxe. All right, all right, well, at least we got our wood, dude, but we need to use it for the roof. So guys, I think we're gonna start working on the roof and we'll update you when that's done, and then we can start customizing the inside of our fort for survival. All right, guys, so we just finished decking out the fort. Now, it's not 100% complete. We, uh, we actually ran out of resources, aka wood, to build the roof, so we still gotta work on the roof. But in the meantime, I thought it would be really fun to go inside and start decking it out because obviously, we might be here for a long while. I mean, I mean, that's really up to you guys and how many of you like the video, but if we're here for a whole week, Logan, we want to make this as livable as possible. So why don't we head into the Minecraft okay, I'm, I'm just going to get a little bit of wood in case we need any. All right, so inside, I brought my Minecraft backpack with some goodies in it. That's going to help us deck this place out. We want to make sure that it's homey, but also has a lot of usable resources inside. I'm thinking we definitely need to build a chest to hold all of our gear. And before the sun goes down, I'm hoping we can craft a boat to travel across that ocean. I don't know if you guys noticed, but there is a massive ocean behind us. Yeah, Jake, if you're going to cross this ocean, you're going to need a big boat. This place is actually looking sick. We have put a lot of work into it, obviously a lot of resources, and made it really big. And this place is huge inside. I definitely want to get the roof finished because the darker it gets, the more scared I get. Because obviously we got Minecraft creatures, but Logan, there's also real life creatures like raccoons. I don't know. It's kind of cool having like an open space. You can pop your head out of it. I have some stuff for our bedding. I've got a starter kit of seeds so that we can build our Minecraft garden, which I'm definitely going to have to start working on tonight. And we got flint and steel, which you guys know in Minecraft is the only way to start your fire. But Jake, uh, maybe no fire in the box for it. We'll definitely have to make our fire outside. And guys, remember, we are doing this for real, which means we can only eat Minecraft food. That's chicken, apples. Like I said, there's actually a lot of stuff, but we need to cook it on our fire. Before we get to that though, we got to start building and decking this place up. I also brought Mr. Mushrooms. Jake, why did you bring this thing in here? It's a, I call what him, is this thing? I call him Mr. Mushrooms. He's my sheep, bro. All right, Mr. Mushrooms, you're going to go over here. Maybe in the future, we'll build you your own little pen. So while Logan's working on the interior of the fort, I went ahead and used some of our resources to craft myself a shovel because one of the most important things about survival is, well, food. That, that's probably like up there with water. So I'm going to be making our very own Minecraft farm, which means I need to take some water from this so we can use it to fertilize the crops and then go behind our fort and dig up some area. Now in my Minecraft kit, it came with some seeds, so we're gonna use this. I don't know what's gonna grow out of this, but hopefully we'll get some good vegetables. All right, first things first, we need some water. We got our water, now let's head to the back of the fort where we can start building our farm. All right, now I started working on a fence here to keep anything from, uh, you know, stepping on our crops. We don't want that, but I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna use a little area here. So I'm gonna dig up some blocks and pour some water down for fertilizer, and then we can start planting with our seeds. So let's start digging. All right, our hole's ready. Let's get some water in it. And there we go. We got a nice pool of water which should fertilize the crops to the right and left of this. Now I ain't no farmer. In fact, I have no skills in farming, but we've got our seeds here. And I guess all we need to do is put it on the left side and the right side. And we'll grow a different crop on the left side. I have absolutely no idea what's gonna grow here, guys, but as a first time farmer, I think I did pretty good. It's small, but I think it'll work. Also 
guys, one reason why I really want to build a boat and cross the ocean is, I don't know for sure, but I've heard that on the other side of this, there might be a village full of villagers, which will be great for us because then we can trade resources. And if we want to survive here for as long as possible, we definitely need to do that. What's up guys? Oh dude, this looks sick. Check it out. What? Okay, so pretty much we have our sleeping quarters made, which we have our custom oh, Minecraft pillows. Oh, so comfy. Ah, I could definitely sleep here for an entire year. Let's make this challenge go year long, Logan. I want to do a year Minecraft challenge outside. I don't know, guys. I'll it depends. Grow a beard, it'll be this long. It'll be the biggest beard you've ever seen. If we get 50,000 likes every video, we will stay here an, an extra day. Dude, I love the pickaxe holder. That looks sick. So we have. <laughs> Whoops. A backpack holder. We have a backpack holder here. Definitely gonna need that for supplies. And we have our awesome pickaxe holder next to our crafting table. And wow. some cool little artwork. Now we definitely need to make a chest. I want to do that. We also need to get more resources and finish the roof because the roof, Logan, although it looks really nice, that is that is screaming for raccoons to jump down here or spiders or even worse if it starts to rain. Jake, the sun is going down and we don't have food yet. We need food. That's right, we're not gonna survive unless we get food. So we need to figure out, we need to figure out what to eat. And Logan, unless you've seen a bunch of chickens running around, I haven't seen any chickens. Jake, does Mr. Mushu count as food? Logan, no, we are not eating Mr. Mushooms. He's the fluffiest thing I've ever seen in my life. I don't care how much you like pork chops, Logan, we're not eating him. I have an idea to find his food. It's a little crazy, it's a little early on to be doing it, but I say we craft ourselves a boat and we cross the biggest ocean in the world. On the other side, I heard there was a village and maybe we can trade with those guys for resources. I'm so hungry, Jake. I hope this works. Now every good boat builder needs to start with some prime resources, aka wood. I'm ready to go. The boat has been built and I will be crossing the narrow sea. It's, uh, it's quite the boat, Jake. I, I don't think there's enough space for two people in here. You are right. I will be sacrificing myself to cross the narrow sea. Now, those villagers are bad and they are griefers. I might not make it back, so don't touch Mr. Mushrooms. Doing this for us, Logan. We need food and we need to survive. Three, two, one. Did I make it across the ocean? Jake, I feel like I could have told you that was gonna happen. I didn't make it anywhere, did I? The boat is upside down. We're gonna need to rethink how we get our food. Now I'm all wet and freezing cold. So we don't have food, I'm freezing cold, our roof's not done, it's getting dark. Logan, we are in a lot of trouble and it's only the first video. Calm down, why don't we make a fire and warm up a bit? Okay, all right, I did bring flint and steel, so let's grab our resources of wood and let's start a fire. Maybe if we can find some food, we can cook it on there. All right guys, now just like in Minecraft, we are gonna start our fire, but we ain't got no matches up in here. No, we got flint and steel. So in Minecraft, they literally do this once and it starts a fire, but I don't, I don't think it's, this might take me a few tries, but we're gonna get it just like you would in Minecraft. Okay, uh, J Jake's been trying with the flint and steel for quite some it's time now. It's not as easy as they make it look in Minecraft, and I'm freezing cold and I'm hungry. And I just wanna, all I brought was flint and steel because that's all you get in Minecraft. Oh, guys, there we go. I did it with the flint and steel. Oh, dude, okay, good. We cannot let this fire go out, Logan. Make sure we got our wood resources ready. Oh, dude, that is warming me up. We have our very first fire in Minecraft survival week. That's a nice fire, bro. It's really warm, but Jake, it's not feeding us. Logan, there is a very large possibility that we might need to sleep in the box for tonight without any food. We'll just have to wait for my crops to grow in the morning. Logan? Logan, we're under attack. What do you mean we're under attack? There's another player here. What do we do? Logan, where, 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 where is your pickaxe? We might have to pickaxe Jake, the other pickax player. My pickaxe is inside. It's the only thing we have to defend ourselves. What do you want? What do you want? No, I'm no mind reader, but might be a friendly player. Oh. Just want to enjoy our fire? Oh. Oh. And he's gonna try and- Is that food? I don't know what it is. You chopped up another player and now you're eating the other player? Oh. Jake, I don't think that's what he's saying. No, no, what's he saying? Oh. What's a trade? An ax. You want, you want an ax for the food? Oh. Logan, go get the ax. Here, do, do you want this? Well, then that's our only yeah. pickaxe, but we really do need to eat. Well, we may have lost the pickaxe, but we got some food. I mean, pickaxes are pretty easy to repair. What, what do you give us? Cookies, bread, uh, steak. Jake you okay. gave us a steak? I mean, we I did say we out here doing real Minecraft, and we are definitely out here doing real Minecraft. That is our dinner. Are we are we splitting it, or is this just for me? Jake, we're definitely splitting it. Well, we don't have plates in Minecraft, Logan. We have 
pretty much gotta go hands in on this one. First night in Minecraft, first meal in Minecraft, steak. Could be worse, could be better, could be cookies, but. Not bad, not bad at all. Definitely will fill me up. At the end of the day, Logan, even though we're surviving and we almost starved to death, it's kind of nice being out here in Minecraft. Wouldn't you agree? Yeah, Jake, it's, it's lovely. Yeah, that was a mistake. Logan, is that you? Yes, Jake, it's me. Yo, welcome back inside, man. We got the lights all ready to go in the Minecraft fort. I'm all fired up because I ate steak. I'm excited. How'd you like your steak, Logan? It was okay steak, Jake. Guys, we got extremely lucky, though, that we happened to come across another player. Or else, Logan, we would be going to sleep without any food. And that wouldn't be fun at all, because my stomach would grumble, and it don't feel good. But luckily, even though we haven't seen any more animals, hopefully tomorrow my crops will have grown. Yeah, Jake, it was pretty lucky we got some food, but we don't have a pickaxe now. Yeah, well, Logan, that's why it's Minecraft. I'll just make another one, bro. Courtesy of the handy-dandy crafting table. All right, well, let's make ourselves a brand new pickaxe. Boom, 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 and there we go. We got ourselves a brand new pickaxe! And that's not all, Logan. We got a few extra resources, so I thought we'd brighten this place up at night. Check this out. Check it out. Our very own light switches. Check out how awesome this fort looks at night. I mean, it's blue. It's comfy! I do not call that a backflip. I think that was a backflip. Outside is looking beautiful. Ow. You know what we need to do, Logan? We need to find some sheep and then shear the sheep. I think it's called shearing. And then we get their wool. And then we take their wool and we make it into carpet. And then we find some plants. And we turn the plants into dye. And then we dye the wool. And then we make carpet. I don't know what you just said, Jake. It's a little confusing, but okay. I think we need carpet. That would make this place even more cozy and comfy. We sh Next episode, we need to find sheep. Also, I was thinking for these light switches. I don't know why, but in Minecraft, I always love to put them right beside the door like this. So when you come in, you just flip it on and you got light. Flippy, flippy, flip. You do it as much as you will. All right, I got our flippity flute, and I made another one at the back here. So when I'm in bed at night and we're done with the day, I'm assuming we're gonna be here for a week because I think everyone's gonna get a bajillion likes. When I go to sleep, I just go, good night. And I sleep like this. Well, you're going full Minecraft, all right. Okay, Logan's going full Minecraft. He's sleeping with, should I be sleeping with mine on? Should I sleep with my pickaxe? Yo, Logan. Logan, don't move. Whatever you do, do not scream. Oh, get up right now, bro. There's an Enderman outside. Jake, Jake, shh, do it right. Wait, Jake, I can't hear you. What? There's an Enderman outside our fort. An Enderman? Yes. Okay, okay. Now, whatever you do, Logan, do not look him in the eyes. If we just ignore him, you should just keep walking around doing whatever Enderman do. Get eaten by that Enderman. Jake, how can you just sleep with that guy walking around? Just ignore him. He shouldn't do anything to us. We'll just chill out. All right. I think we're going to get to bed now, guys. We'll update you in the morning with what's going on. Hey, yo. What's going on, everyone? It's Logan here, and we're back with day two of our Minecraft survival channel. Jake, get up. <laughs> That was a fun night, actually. This fort worked out pretty well. I like got to sleep in my comfy Minecraft stuff. It was actually a pretty good night for our first 24-hour challenge. And guys, as you know, this Minecraft challenge will go as long as you guys want. However many videos we get 50,000 likes in, we will keep sleeping here. Logan, it is a brand new day in Minecraft, which means we need to turn on the power in the... I can't see you again. Let's flip on our switches and make a plan for the day. Of course, any good Minecraft builder knows that he needs to have a plan. In today's plan, I've got a couple things that I wanna do. First things first, we need breakfast, because all I ate last night was steak. And since it is a Minecraft challenge, we can only eat Minecraft food. Now, I do have a garden that's working. We're currently waiting for that to grow. I have no idea what I'm growing back there. I ain't no farmer. But, Logan, I thought for breakfast, we could get the fort lit and have some apples. Where are we getting apples from? Well, Logan, it's Minecraft. We're gonna pick them from a tree, brother. But guys, if you haven't checked out the Minecraft fort yet, this is what it looks like from the outside. Last night, we had a fire. We slept in here. And since it is Minecraft, 
the world is our oyster. We might want to expand this. We might want to go other places. Logan looks like he just woke up. Hashtag squad. Squad. Down below. But Logan, let's keep the voices down because last night we saw an Enderman. We don't know what other kind of creepers, monsters, spiders, or even skeletons are out here. All right, guys. I'm all geared up and ready to go. I got Mr. Mooshoom's on my backpack here. Minecraft helmet on. And our one and only pickaxe. Now all we gotta do is find some trees with apples, Logan. Jake, where are we gonna find trees with apples? Well, I'm no expert scientist, Logan, but I'm pretty sure those are trees. And I actually can already see some apples. Let's go! All right, now the key to picking apples is... Jake? It's quite, it's quite simple. You need to search for the apple. You need to smell the apple. If there's an apple You right need to there. feel the apple, Logan. Don't interrupt me while I'm searching for apples. Now, I don't know where the apples are, but I do know they're close because I can feel it in my body. Jake, right there. There's an apple right there, Logan. You would have never found it. The very first apple, dude. Just like in Minecraft. Hmm. There's one right here. <sighs> nice. Well, you know what they say, guys? An apple a day keeps the creeper away. Well, not too bad for breakfast. Of course, we still have my farm, which is gonna make us some food. But Logan, if we are gonna be surviving out here for potentially an entire week, we definitely need to find more food. We also need to find more resources because all we have right now is this pickaxe. We need armor, we need weapons. We also want to expand the base and we need to build ourselves a chest. I think the first thing we need to do is go out on a little mission and find some more resources. I think the first thing we need to do is eat our apples. I think it's time for us to build our very first storage chest. We're starting to get a lot of resources. We got our pickaxes, we got our apples out here. We even got some wood, so we need a storage chest to start storing the stuff. We definitely need to start cleaning up in here. This place is already starting to get a little bit messy. I think we need some more storage. But guys, if you have any crazy ideas on what you want us to do and expand the base, be sure to comment down below. I'm already thinking we definitely need to get carpet in here, and I really want to find some redstone so I can start making some redstone items. Jake, I want to go explore. Like, There's so much to explore out there. Why don't we go explore? Well, Logan, we're going to need one of these bad boys if we're exploring. We got our very first storage chest. Check it out. Uh, place it right here in the Minecraft fort. It's coming together pretty well. We got our chest over here, crafting table over there, holders over there. We got our sleeping quarters over there. I think one of the next things we could do, Logan, is we could expand this place going backwards and maybe make ourselves our own bedroom. Jake, I want to explore. And we're gonna go explore, all right? One thing though is if we're gonna go explore, we probably need to get some resources like mining. So we're gonna need to mine a cave. We already have our pickaxe. But we need some defense because as we saw last night, there are already mobs of creatures outside. So I think I'm gonna also try and craft ourselves a bow and arrow. Logan, what are you doing? Logan, it's not sleep time in Minecraft, all right, bud? This is exploring time. We're going on an adventure today. An adventure! I'm gonna be making a bow and arrow, guys. So let's head up to the crafting table and grab our bow. One, two, three! And there we go, we got our arrow. Looking pretty good. Now we just need a bow to fire this with. All right, now for our bow. One, two, three! And there we go, we got our bow and arrow, Jake, bro. that's sweet, I want a weapon. All right, well, we're definitely gonna need some resources because I just spent all our last resources using this. Let's check it out, we've got our very own Minecraft bow and arrow. I do wanna get some armor though, because if we're gonna be going deep into these caves and maybe even the nether, we're gonna need as much armor and weapons as we can. Jake, I've never been to the nether. I know, and if we fight the nether dragon, that's a battle that we are not ready for. So I say we head outside and do some exploring because we need some resources. Maybe we can find some diamonds and build ourselves some diamond armor. Got my axe. All right, let's head outside. We out here ready to go on our first Minecraft adventure. I got my bow and arrow. I got my backpack on and we're ready to go. Okay, we need to be serious though because we need resources. I say we head down this way and look for a cave. Okay, Jake, sounds look, uh, good. All right, Mr. Mooshooms, you gotta lead us to a little cave, okay? <laughs> that means that means he's happy. All right, I say we head down here to find ourselves a cave. Jake, I got a quicker way to cross the ocean. Oh, oh, no! That's not even close to how you drive a boat. I'm no boat expert, but that was far from how you do it. Happy now, Logan? I'm just kidding. Like, I know the boat won't work. I just kind of want to swim. Okay, well, man, we got to find resources. We out here for as long as possibly years. What if everyone keeps liking this video and we have to spend our next eight years here? All right, well, now that Logan's all cooled off, we got to keep moving. We got some serious exploring to do. Wait, Logan, 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 hold up. What is that thing? That's a creeper, Logan. If they mess up your house, then they mess up your day. As long as we take it out before it gets too close to us, it won't explode. Mr. Creeper, get it with the bow. Jake, you missed! Jake, can I hit him? Yeah, hit him once, hit him once. 
One more shot should do it. We got him! We gotta be careful out here. We barely have any armor on and we don't have a lot of food. I think I found an entrance to a cave, guys. Why don't we head down this way? It's a dark cave, Logan. We might need a flashlight. Whoa! Dude, it's redstone! Oh, this is gonna be perfect for making stuff. Hold on, let me get my torch on. Bring the scene here. There, that's a little better. <gasps> Yo, Logan, we found diamonds! Diamonds! We actually got diamonds! Get your pickaxe out right now. We need to get this stuff. Mine, 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 bro, mine! More diamonds over there, check it out! Nice, dude! Oh, torch man out, hold on. Oh, this is gonna be enough to make ourselves some diamond armor, maybe even a diamond shovel. <gasps> Think of all the crops I could build with diamond shovels. Yeah, well, it looks like there's cobblestone here. Why don't you try mining across here on this wall? Oh, dude, nice. It's not cool. Oh, Logan, it's a slime! What is that? Oh, dude, press around! Get it, get it, get it! Take it out, take it out! Hit it! Hold on, I got I am hitting it, Jake! Ah! Uh, good! Dude, you got it! Nice! Oh, dude, check it out! It dropped some slime! Yeah. That's kind of gross. I don't really want to put this in my backpack. Maybe we could bring it back and put it in our chest. Oh, yeah, it was definitely something we should keep. We gotta keep all the resources we find. It's just. Okay, I'll put it in my pocket. You gotta come in here, bro! Check it out! It's another part of the cave! Oh, Jake, what is this? Looks like it's a gold ingot. Definitely gonna wanna grab that. Dude, check it out! These are like mystery blocks! Now it says diamond on the cover of it, but there's a chance that there isn't a diamond in here. I say we grab this and grab the gold one and head back to our base and see what kind of ore we have in here. We get another diamond, Logan. We're gonna be in Diamond City. We'll be rolling in the diamonds. We have enough cobblestone, okay? We just broke a bunch of cobblestone. Let's take the slime. Let's take the diamonds and the redstone we got. I wanna build a redstone device today and let's open up these and see what we have in here. There's a chance we're gonna have a diamond in here, guys. All right, guys, we made it back to our base safe and sound. I think it's time to go inside and check out the resources we gathered. We need to make a place to hold our bow and arrow. Maybe we can put it like here. Yeah. That'd be really cool. But let's check out the backpack full of our awesome items. So we were able to get some diamond. Not bad. Let's put it in the chest. Some gold. We got ourselves a little bit of redstone here. And Logan really liked mining cobblestone. So we have a lot of cobblestone. And one of my favorite items we got the mystery box, which might have a very own diamond in it. There might be a real diamond, or it's gonna be more cobblestone. Well, I'd take redstone, or iron, or gold, really. But I definitely wouldn't want dirt. All right, Jake, here's a mini pickaxe. All right, go for it. Is that what I think it is? Is it? I think this might be diamond, guys. I think we hit the jackpot. I got it. Ah, dude. A massive piece of diamond, yo! All right, well, definitely gonna add this one to the box, which means we have enough diamond to craft something I've wanted to craft my entire life ever since we started this challenge a day ago. Here, put it in the box. I think it's time for me to craft my very first piece of diamond armor. In three, two, one, dude! Check it out! Oh, no creepers messing with me now because I all armored up out here. How do I look? Do I look cool? Tell me I look cool. I must look cool. Yeah, Jake, you look really cool oh dude i'm so i feel stronger too like i feel like nothing can affect me nothing can hurt me that 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 when well, then you just taking my armor off i also still want to make diamond swords and a diamond shovel so i can you know work on my farm which speaking of logan we need to check the farm it's been a full day jake there's no way your carrots could have grown in one day something's growing i mean it's, I, it's, I don't see it dude check it out right here something's growing out of the ground so this is where i put my water away which hydrated all the surrounding area and then i planted seeds that we had from a backpack only one way to find out what did we grow ah yo we got carrots up in here what what dude check it out i got one two three four carrots grew i mean it's not much, but it's humble work being a Minecraft farmer. And you thought I couldn't grow anything, Logan? Well, look at this. Four brand spanking new carrots. Looks like we're having a feast tonight for dinner. Well, we're definitely gonna have to utilize this farm for food. All right, well, let's bring this back to the chest and store it in our fort. I also wanna use some of that redstone we got to do some building today because I wanna make an awesome attachment for a front door. I wanna have a pressure plate that when you step on it, the front door opens. Hey, Jake, while you build the redstone pressure plate, I'm gonna go on a mission to find more materials. All right, Logan, sounds good. When you get back, we're gonna have a sweet new thing on our base. I'll see you in a bit. Hello? Who are you? 
Name's Billy McBillerson. Fancy seeing a new player around these parts. Uh, yeah, I've been here like less than a day. Less than a day. I've been here my whole life. Raised 40 chickens, 50 cows, even have a couple dogs. All right guys, so while Logan's off doing whatever Logan's doing, I thought it'd be really sweet to add an awesome pressure plate to our fort so that when we go up to the door like so, you put your feet down, you click the pressure plate and the door will magically open for you. Now we do have a lot of redstone and there is some other awesome stuff I want to do with it, but I think this is a pretty easy thing that we can start off with. There we go, we've got the very first redstone creation on this fort and it is looking pretty sweet. So we got a pressure plate here. When we step on this, it'll activate the redstone. Coming along here, up the wall, and then connecting to the door and the door should open. That's some, some really fancy armor. Is that diamond? That's the best. Crafted it myself. I had to dig deep in the mines for this. Fight off skeleton, beat down creepers. I want you to know that if I want to, I could cut you down right now take you out, but I'm not gonna do that. Whoa, 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 no need to cut me down. I came here to trade with you. I'm a hunger man, making some stew for my pet turtle, Jim Bob. Okay, well, I, I have a carrot. Do you want a carrot? Carrot? Whoa, whoa, I hit the jackpot. I ain't seen a carrot around here in 50 years. Tells you what, I give you this diamond sword for five of your carrots. Diamond sword for carrot? I only have one carrot. All right, I'm a bargaining man. I'll give you this sword for four carrots. Sir, sir, I only have one carrot. All right, my final offer is one carrot. Take your leave. Okay, well, I, I may have lied. I have three carrots. Nope, one carrot, final offer. Don't mess with my bargaining skills, son. Sir, one carrot. There you go, there's your sword. Enjoy. Wow, thank you. See you around. This is awesome. I mean, guys, we have more than one carrot. I think he lost that bargain. Oh well, go show Jake my new diamond sword. This thing is pretty awesome. Oh no, 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 no. No, it's what Jake was saying, the Enderman. Okay, well I have this awesome sword. Maybe I can take him out. Uh, go away, go back. Go back where you came from. Stay back, I'm warning you. Oh, he's gone. Okay, that wasn't so bad. Whoa, whoa, stay back. Stay back! Uh, Jake said not to look it in the eyes. Why are you sleeping? Because it'll not throw us tired from building because it's not a like day in the budget. I just got attacked by an Enderman, Jake. What? An Enderman? Where? But Where? I got this diamond sword. Where'd you get a diamond sword, Logan? I don't know, I traded a guy a carrot. A carrot for a diamond sword? Who would do that? So wait, what do you mean there's an Enderman? Where, where is Logan? Did You didn't look him in your eyes, did you? I hit him with my sword, it's fine. I just ran away. And then the sword, then he's- Ah, oh, Logan, he's right here, he's in the face! Jake, what do we do? Oh, no, what do we do? Mr. Mushrooms, oh, no, no! No, 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 Mr. Mushrooms, no! He's gone. No, Mr. Mushrooms! Jake, where did Jake, he go? Mr. Mushrooms, I don't know, that's what they do, they disappear! He's gone, my precious Mr. Mushrooms. You let Mr. Mooshums go because you just had to fight Jake, an Enderman. Jake, I didn't know that the Enderman would come and take Mr. Mooshu. You know what that means? That means we're starting a war with the Enderman. That means we are going to find him at all costs and get back Mr. Mooshums. Can't let him do that to Mr. Mooshums. Now he's gone. Now he's gone. Well, let's have to wait for him to come back. Well, Logan, on the bright side, I did install a brand new pressure plate made completely out of redstone for us. As you can see, I used a redstone to formulate a pressure plate, and if when we step on this block, the door will open. Get out, dude, try it out. How sweet is that? And the door opens. That is pretty you no sweet. no longer need to use your hands, Logan. It's a hands-free operation we got going on here, thanks to my redstone plate. An Enderman came in and stole my motion. Day three. Today is day three of our Minecraft challenge. I don't know what happened to the top of the fort, guys, but uh, it definitely took a beating last night. I think maybe because of the heat, it just kind of... I went ahead and did a little bit of upgrades just to make sure the fort was more structurally stable. I added these like little poles here. We also still have the pressure plate, which I made out of redstone that opens up the door whenever you step on it. And don't forget guys, in this challenge, we are doing everything like you would in Minecraft. We need to eat Minecraft food, sleep Minecraft sleep, dream Minecraft dreams. And also if we are building, we need to gather resources like you would do in Minecraft. Jake's taking this really seriously. I wanna eat real food. No Logan, we can't eat real food. We can only eat Minecraft food, which actually is a 
pretty nice menu and for breakfast you're gonna be pretty happy. So I think before we start gathering resources to add onto this base, I'm gonna go whip us up a nice Minecraft breakfast. Now if you're wondering, Papa Jake, what are you gonna add onto your base? It's already legit. We had a plan today. We were gonna add on a second story so that we could make it even taller. First things first, if we're gonna be making breakfast, we need our resources. And it just so happens that I looked over here. Check this out. We got wheat on wheat. I am not eating this. Well, no, you're not gonna eat this, Logan. See, I'm gonna turn this into a beautiful breakfast. First, we gotta gather the resources, though. And a little bit more split. Oh, yeah. That's a premium wheat, Logan. It's a beautiful thing about Minecraft, guys. You're out here in nature. Everything you eat is pure and natural. You take wheat, you take water, you make bread. But in order to do that, we need to craft a furnace. So why don't we head back inside and use our crafting table to make a furnace and add it to our fort. So it's time to make ourselves a furnace. So I'm gonna head over here to our chest. Ah, grab out some cobblestone we got from the mine yesterday. Got our cobblestone. Now we're gonna head over to the handy dandy crafting table. Now on the count of three, we should have ourselves a brand new furnace. One, two, three. Whoa, we got it. It's a furnace. Well, hold on, bro. We definitely need to expand the base because we are running out of room. Jake needs his own room. Just a nice king size bed. If you guys keep liking the video and we keep getting 50,000 likes like the last video got, we are going to be here for a while, which means, Logan, we need to invest first in a Papa Jake lounge. If you got a Papa Jake lounge, then I got a Logan lounge. Check it out, guys. We got the Minecraft furnace. It's a, little, it's a little hot to have a furnace, but we got the fire down below and anything we put in here, we can cook, which is also important if we want to melt down our resources to build armor. Let's grab our wheat. We're gonna stick in the furnace here, give it a little bit of time, a little Chef Papa Jake love, and in a couple seconds, we should have some nice bread for breakfast. Guys, I am so sick of Minecraft food. Please comment down below if you guys have any ideas of what we can eat other than apples, bread, and steak. Fancy you mentioned bread because we got ourselves a fresh loaf of bread. I call it le bread because it's French. Give me half of that, Jake. Check it out, dude. This is our breakfast. Oh, this yeah. is it. This is all I get to eat, Jake? I have a lot of food. We should look like a full sandwich. Mm. Okay, well. It's really hard bread, Jake. It's tasty, though. It's made by Chef Papa Jake. Well, after we finish eating our breakfast, guys, and we got a little bit of energy into us, I think it'll be time for us to head out and start planning our day. Especially, we need to go looking for some resources. Mm -mm -mm. I love Minecraft. Now that breakfast is done, it's time for us to head out and gather some resources. If we're gonna be building onto this base and making it two stories and expanding it, we need a ton of resources, mainly wood. Mostly, mostly wood, but we could always use some more cobblestone and diamonds. Diamonds are always fun, especially because I make stuff like this. My diamond helmet, which I got yesterday. And I like it because Logan doesn't have one, so it makes me look extra cool. Don't Maybe I'll get one today, Jake. I got us a diamond sword. That's true, you did get us a diamond sword. And I was hoping that later on we could maybe go searching for villagers because if you guys don't remember, it's kind of too hard to bring up. But yesterday I lost a friend. Jake, it was just Mushu. It was Mushu, Logan. I lost Mushu. An Enderman came in and stole my Mushu. And I want to find him and get him back. If that means going everywhere and finding that Enderman, then I'm gonna do it. Because I love Mushrooms. You guys should love them too. Hashtag Mushrooms. Let's pack up, head to the forest, grab some resources, and then head back here and start building onto this base. We traveled a little far away from our fort, but we found some good resources here in the forest. So we're gonna be looking for wood, stone, or anything else that we can find. Even if we find food, though, okay. then there's a bunny. We might be eating rabbit tonight. No, 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 don't hurt the bunny. Okay, we can bring it home and make it our pet and then eat rabbit. No, Jake. No, 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 you're not hurting the rabbit. Come here, buddy, buddy. You're right, I can't live on bread and steak. I need a little rabbit. No, Jake, we are not hurting the rabbit. Well, at least let's get a ton of wood. There's literally enough forest here to build us a three, 4,000 story house. No, no, no. You scared it away, Logan. We could have had a bunny. That's a big log if I ever seen one. That's gonna get us some good wood, Logan. Follow me. a lot more inefficient. Logan's going to look on the other side because we think we hear someone following us. He's gonna take a look down there. I got my Minecraft bow out, so if I do see any bunnies or anyone, I'll be able to take them out. So far though, pretty good. I mean, we have traveled quite a distance away from the home base, but we've gathered a lot of resources and we're finding a lot of cool stuff out here. I'm actually really excited to add on to the base because I think it's gonna be so sweet when we add a second story. You see anyone? 
I can't see anything with this on. Jake, it's time to go mine some materials. <laughs> God, that was a pretty good solid amount of mining we just did. So we got a lot of wood, we got a lot of resources, but I think it's time we head back home because Logan, I'm pretty sure someone's following us. I can feel it in my bones, bro. There's someone out there. I heard them before. We're on our way home. We have nothing to worry about. Oh yes we do, because he's sitting right there. Wow, wow, wow. Look who we have here. A new victim for Griefa McGriefason. You see, I roam these parts of town looking for people just like you to grief. Well, you're not griefing anything today, Griefer McGriefason. Because I'm sort of a Minecraft pro. And I've also got this bow. Try this on for size, buddy. That didn't exactly go anywhere near me. I didn't go very far Jake, at don't all. worry, I got this bread. Ah! Ah! I got him. Logan, where'd you get that bread? Why are you using bread? You had a diamond sword, could you not at least have used that? I mean, Jake, this bread was disgusting and it's very hard. It wasn't a weapon. It's it was, a good weapon. It was made with love. I don't know, man. I think you need to touch up on your baking skills. At least we stopped that griefer. I think we better get back to our base, guys. If there's more griefers out here, we don't want to run into them. We have enough troubles. All right, guys, now that we are back and we have tons of materials, it is time many materials bro check it out we got enough for four forts five forts i want to build my own fort like three stories tall time to repair this fort and make some additions so while logan starts preparations on expanding the fort i need to tend to my farm which obviously is a good source of all of our food so first things first let's grab some water from the ocean here as you guys can see i've been planting on both sides of this like waterway here which is where i pour my water to fertilize and i got some new seeds from the last time i picked carrots so we're gonna put them down and see what grows i have no idea what we're gonna be able to grow but as long as it's edible it should be good I got my seeds here. If you have any idea what these could be, let me know down below, but we should be able to find out tomorrow morning. So let's start planting it along the side. What, what are you planting? I don't know, Logan, that's the beauty of planting. You never know what you're planting. Pretty sure you're supposed to know what you're planting. Nope. And tomorrow morning we'll find out. Now it's time to make my fertilizer block full of water here. And there we go, guys. We got a block full of fertilized water. Our seeds planted beside it. More, we should have some beautiful crops. As you guys can see, this roof needs a serious refurbishing. So what we're gonna be doing for this space is we're gonna be tearing down the front wall and then expanding it out this way, plus adding a second story so that we have a lookout onto all the mobs that might come at us during the night. But the sun is starting to go down. It's been a pretty long day, so we need to start building this thing fast. take any more of Jake's Minecraft food so I had to sneak in and make myself dinner. Didn't tell Jake about this so we'll keep it our little secret. Guys, I don't think Jake noticed where uh, where I went or what I'm doing. Well, I enjoy my nice delicious dinner. He just builds our fort. Hey, Jake. Yeah? What's up? Uh, yeah, I don't think Jake cares what we're doing. So we're, we're good, we're just gonna eat without Jake. Jake's lost. All right guys, check it out. I have the second story complete and the full revamp of the fort. Lo Logan, where have you been, bro? I was just getting a broom. It took you 40 minutes to get a broom? I built the whole thing. Literally all that's left is to put windows and a door on and you come for that? I gotta br bring a broom, Jake. It's like the least important thing, all right? Well you might as well start brooming, but check it out. We got the second story here. Yeah, Jake, this is a, a good job you did. Looks yeah, real good. I mean, it's, it's a little all put together, but all in all, we added on to the old fort and made the front entrance here look nice and sleek and brand new. Plus, we have a full new room that we can go up into for lookout. Pretty sweet, uh, Jake. Uh, one question. What are we doing for dinner? I haven't thought of that yet. So I've, I've been so busy on the fort, Logan. We either can eat, well, we either gonna have to find steak, chicken, we could make more bread. Bread was pretty easy to make, or we could always look for more apples. That's a good thing I ate earlier. Well, let's get the roof on this thing and start adding the windows. So the 
sun is pretty much set. Our two-story box fort is looking pretty sweet and we have our new door. Check it out, guys. Um, and we cleaned it up in here so it's even bigger. Plus, we got room for all of our cool stuff. And we've got our brand new two-story lookout over here. So you pull this flap up like this and then you can come in here and check it out, guys, up onto our two-story lookout. So you can look out the windows here, make sure there's no creepers or mobs coming at us. You can even see the moon outside and we got extra room to chill. I mean, there's even enough space to lie down, look. Check it out, I'm lying down the second story. You can be down there and I'm up here. Dude, this could be your bunk bed. Oh, dude, honestly, it could. Plus, there's space down here too. Like, we could store stuff down here. And we could put another supply chest down here with all our stuff. Now we get to pretty much chill out in the fort, enjoy the night. We didn't get everything we wanted to get done today. There's still a lot of building we wanted to do. Plus, I really wanted to go check out that village that's close to us. So I was thinking tomorrow we could build a minecart as well as a minecart track so we could travel to the village, which I think would be sweet. Plus, look, I don't know if you uh, like diving underwater, but we have yet to go underwater and check out what's down there. I'm gonna also head to bed, but before we do that, I think it's time for the traditional bedtime Papa Jake dance. That's right, Logan, it's the dance party. Get, get boogieing with it. Come on, wake up. Okay, well, Logan, Logan's getting to bed. No, no dance party for us. All right, well, guys, I will update you in the morning when I wake up after another beautiful night under the stars in Minecraft, and we'll see you in the morning. Welcome back to real life Minecraft. Today is day four of living using only items you can find in Minecraft. You guys have been destroying that like button and loving these videos. In today's video, we build a minecart, go swimming, eat a chicken, and have the biggest battle of our lives. Oh no, we got a creeper. Stop right now, creeper. We saved our base again, Logan. Ayo, what's going on everyone? It's Papa Jake and we are back with a brand new Minecraft video in Minecraft week, which I've been extremely excited about. If you guys didn't know, we've been living in our Minecraft fort, in the Minecraft world for the past four days. And welcome inside the fort, guys. Check it out. It's a little messy because we have been living here, but so far we have upgraded this place and made it super sweet. We got chests, we got an oven, we got a crafting table. Logan is currently outside sweep. Logan, what are you doing, bro? I'm sweeping why, our porch. Why are you sweeping our porch, man? I, I guess we gotta. I guess we gotta keep it clean. We gotta keep it clean, Jake. But guys, check out the outside of the fort. This thing is absolutely massive. This is where we've been living, eating Minecraft, sleeping Minecraft, not. Not showering like you don't do in Minecraft, which hasn't been too great. We have a lot of chores to do, just like in Minecraft. We got upgrading the base. We got finding more resources. I already sweep the, the floor, Jake. That's that's like the least of our problems today. But I thought because we are a little low on food, we could travel to the local village and try and grab some food from those guys. Not not take it. Oh, like, Jake, you haven't even had breakfast. You haven't had any no, food. I'm starving, Logan. All right, we went through our bread. We ate our bread and we ate the steak. We've got nothing left. So in order to get to the village, we need to use some of our resources and build a minecart track to take us there. It's like a train, but in Minecraft. So we have to head to our crafting table right now so we can build our minecart. Well, first things first, Logan, if we're building the minecart, we got to go into the handy dandy chest here and grab some of our resources out of here. We're going to grab some raw gold. Now, this might just look like regular rock, but inside this, there is little pieces of gold probably asking Papa Jake how are you gonna get it out of here well, that's why we got this bad boy I call it furnace McFurnacy pop the gold in and the fire starts up down there so we're smelting gold now we got a ton of rocks and stone that we mined in the last episode so we're gonna use that to build our minecart track but we're also gonna need to build an actual minecart that we can drive around all the way to the village I think I need to jump in the ocean well we can go in the ocean dude we can go searching down there also for resources because Minecraft has underwater now but check it out, we're getting the premium gold coming out of the furnace. So we're gonna take some of this. I'll start working on the minecart track. I don't know if you wanna go swimming, go swimming. Time to add the resources to the good old crafting table here and build ourselves some minecart track. One, two, three, and boom, there we go. We got some minecart track. Now all we need is uh, like uh, 6,000 of these and a minecart and we should be good to go. I mean, the village isn't too far away guys, but hopefully this isn't all for nothing. I really hope they have food and resources that we can use. And I'm even hoping that today we can get some diamond armor. Oh, diamond armor. Now while Logan's building the minecart track, I also thought it'd be really cool if we made like a base for it, you know, kind of like a train station where we can get in, get ready, and then we can leave from the train station and go all the way to the villagers. There's also a, 
a second reason why I'm going. I don't want to tell Logan that we're wasting our resources for this. Yes, we're going to the village because I think there might be food there, but I also lost a friend. That Enderman took my friend. It's almost too hard to talk about. Got mushrooms, guys. Got mushrooms. And for those of you who are still looking for mushrooms, I am too. And I'm thinking that we... What, what are you... Look, where are you... Where are you... You're supposed to be building my... Logan, no, you're supposed to be... Building minecart track. I guess Logan's not building my car track, he's, he's swimming. Well, after Logan's done swimming and building the my car track, then we should be able to go to the village. And I'm hoping we'll get some answers as to where Mr. Mooshums is. Check it out, I just finished our train station slash our minecart station. So here it is. It's a little ways away from our main house, but you enter into the back here through this door and inside we've got our working minecart. Now I added a window at the front here. So once you get in the minecart, you simply push it forward and then you can go out, open up the front Front door and start going along the track. Get out of my way. What, what are you it's doing? time to oh, install the track. Got the track? All right, Logan's gonna go in and start installing the track so we can get to the village. But uh, I got some bad news. What's that? We're completely out of gold ingot. Oh, uh, that, that does suck. We had to use all the gold ingot on the track, but that's okay because once we get to the village, it opens up a lot of trading opportunities for us. <laughs> okay, so now it's time to start building our track. This should be enough track to get us to the village. Dude, this looks awesome. All right, well, we definitely have enough track to get us there. I think now all we need to do is get on this minecart and test it out. I'm inside our little minecart station, inside the minecart, and I'm ready to go. Hopefully the uh, the track works. I'll be able to head and make my way to the village. I'll send it back for you, Logan. All right, here we go. Whoa! Guys, that was awesome! We made a real working minecart on a minecart track! Oh, oh dude! dude. <laughs> Alright guys, looks like the village is just up ahead. I put on my diamond helmet here so I can uh, make sure we're protected in case things go south. Logan, you got your sword? Alright, now we don't know how these people are. They might be mean, or they might be good friendly traders. Keep an eye out for anything. Hello? Anyone in there? Someone's in there. It's a villager! A real life villager. Sir, look, we, we are extremely hungry. We, we are travelers from, well, that, that way. But look, we want to trade for food. If you have any sort of food you can give us. Do, do you speak English? I speak English. Okay, okay well, do, do you have any food we can trade for? I mean, we have Logan's diamond sword. We can what? give you that. Jake, not my diamond sword. Well, we gotta give him something. I grow chickens. All I can give you is chickens. But in return, I want emerald. Uh, emerald we, we don't we don't have emerald I, I mean I have a, a diamond helmet that's we don't have emerald that's kind of like an emerald right it's like brown like an emerald no 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 I only accept emerald we're starving like we're just gonna have to get some emeralds fine fine we'll we'll find emerald and we'll be right back okay don't do anything with those chickens you, you stay right there yeah, keep the chickens warm we'll be back we need to do something we need to figure out a way to get emeralds guys we have no food I mean yes we could go out and look for chickens but there probably aren't any. I haven't seen one. All I saw was a dog and a bunny. And you made me scare away the bunny yesterday. Okay, Jake, where are we gonna get emeralds? All right, well, we've already been to a cave before, and I mean, yeah, we found diamonds, but there was nothing else in there. I have an idea. In Minecraft, you can swim, and underwater, they now have chests. There is a chance that in that ocean, if we swim deep enough, we'll find a chest in it and some emeralds. We take it back to the chicken dude and buy ourselves some nice juicy chicken. Sounds a little far-fetched, Jake. Logan, if it was so far-fetched, then why did I bring my swimming goggles? Jake, I have no idea why you brought your swimming goggles. Going in the water, Logan, and we're gonna find that emerald and get back to the chicken man with enough emerald to buy us enough chickens to last the rest of our lives. Now, come on, we got some swimming to do. Let's go. As I'm ready to go swimming, I got myself some spears in case we run into some underwater creatures. And all we have to do is find ourselves a chest. Last one in the water loses, Logan. See ya. Woohoo! Come on, Logan, the water's great. Get inside. Guess we gotta go find some emeralds. <laughs> See what we got. Oh, we're in business. We got diamonds, cobblestone. Yeah, cobblestone's not that cool, but oh, shit. 
Get out. Jake, what's that? That, my friend, is an emerald. Oh, we're gonna be eating chicken tonight, brother. Jake, why do you keep calling it chicken? Because the guy said it was chicken. I don't know. That's a, she calls it chicken. Anyway, we need to get this back to the base and dry off. We gotta go get that chicken. So now that we got our little ticket to get some chicken, I think it's time to head back to the village and see if we can trade for a little bit of food. Sun's already starting to go down and I am starving for some yummy dinner. All right, well, let's head out on the minecart track and pay this villager a little visit. We've got our emerald and everything ready to go. Let's get on this minecart track. See you there, Logan. All right, Mr. Villager, we have returned with your emerald, which I think means we get one of your chicken. Chicken, chicken, chicken. Oh, Jake, I'm so hungry. Oh, dude. Look at that. We got our own Minecraft chicken. Yo, oh. touch that with his bare hands. But yeah, but I mean, it's Minecraft. We're surviving. Oh. Mm, I'm so hungry. Jake, where's your fork and knife? Well, have some about, etiquette. About, about. By the way, Mr. Villager, I had a question for you. See, I lost a dear friend of mine. His name is Mr. Mooshums. Oh, Jake, not Mr. Mooshums. I gotta again. ask, I gotta ask. Have you by chance seen an Enderman carrying a little Mr. Mooshums around? An Enderman? Yes, I have seen. He walks around with a gang of griefers. I do not recommend you go after them, though. They are very bad people. Whoa, 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 whoa. You, you mean you, you've seen him? You've seen Mr. Mooshums? No, no, we need to go after them. I don't care if they're griefers. Jake, I think we just take the chicken and no, we go back home. Chicken, Logan, I want to get Mr. Mooshums back, and if you know where he is, I'm going to go after him, and I'll take out those griefers for you. I can tell you the coordinates to the way. They are not far over the mountain to the east, but be aware, they are bad people, and have struck our village many a times. Their endermen is very dangerous. Well, I think we need to get back and gear up, man. If they have Mr. Mooshums, we gotta go and take the fight to them. But we're gonna need to make some serious armor, Jake. Well, we got some diamond from the chest we got in the ocean. I mean, we can we can put together a full diamond outfit, plus plus a diamond sword for the both of us. Okay, th thanks, dude. Thanks for the chicken. All right, it's yeah. Kind of gross, but I'll, I'll, thanks. I'll enjoy every last bite of this. Ch you make great. Ch you you make good chicken. All right. Goodbye. If we're gonna get back Mr. Mooshums and take down those griefers, we're gonna need all the power we can get. Which is why we're gonna use our diamond to craft some awesome diamond armor. Here you go, Mr. Crafting Table. Bring me some diamond armor. One, two, three. Ooh. Here we go. We got some diamond armor. Check it out, dude. Now all I need is a weapon. I do have my bow and arrow, but I think for this I'm gonna go with the sword. One, two, three. Woo. And there we go. We got ourselves a diamond sword. Wait, Jake, did that just turn from a pickaxe to a sword? Yeah, it's a magical diamond sword, dude. It's like part enchanted. Boom, pickaxe, or boom, sword. Check it out. Jake, look at this candle I just found. Why, why, why is that at all important right now? We're about to go know. take down if the we go to a dude. cave or something, we could use this. Okay, look, you got your diamond sword. I got my diamond armor. We're going to head out and take these guys down and get Mr. Mooshams back. Let's go. All right, guys, the villagers said that they should be somewhere around here. Now, these griefers are known to be dangerous, and they have some sort of pet enderman who stole my Mooshams. We're gonna find these guys and take them down. Jake, how do we know where they're gonna be? I have no idea, Logan. That's what we gotta look for them. There's no call for, hey, Grafer, come out and fight. Oh, there they are. Jake, I, I thought you said there were two guys. Yeah, look behind us, Logan. I got eagle vision. All right, look. I'll take this guy, you take that guy. I'll meet up in the middle. Oh, oh no, he has an enchanted bow and arrow. You're mine now. Got him. Oh no, Logan needs my help. I got him. Oh, I, I, thought, I, I thought you needed my help. No, that was pretty easy, Jake. Oh no, here he is. 